ABC 6 News at Noon, on your side. And want to uh, take your dog on a jog with you? Maybe like this little guy? Some things you need to know before you hit the pavement and how you can give this little pup a forever home. It's coming up next in Pet Tips. All right, so with the kids back at school, you might be thinking about maybe starting your own exercise program, getting back into it. What about taking your dog for a jog? I mean, it sounds simple, but there are some dangers you need to be aware of before you do that. And Dr. Nikki Eaton with Animal Hospital of Polaris is going to tell us some things to look out for. And you brought a little guest with us. I did. Who is this? This is Donna. She's a 12-week-old Border Hi. Collie mix puppy, and she does need a home. Um, she doesn't do very well with kids, so yeah. um, maybe a young professional couple would be great. Um, and you can always just call us at the clinic at 614-888-4050 and ask for Rachel. So cool. she's spayed. She's had Hi. two sets of vaccines. She needs two more sets of vaccines, but <laughs> she is good. She's very sweet. Well, before people like head out and you know go for a run with their dog, what are some of the basic things you need to keep in mind before you do that? So big things that you need to keep in mind is make sure that it's not too hot or humid. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is, is the weather could be really nice and it could be in the 70s, but if it's too humid, that may be too much for your dog to do too. So you have okay. to watch the humidity levels. Because um, um, I know that like a big part, because dogs don't sweat. Right. Right. They don't. And so, and they wear a fur coat. Mm -hmm. And 80% of the dog population is obese. Oh, okay. So if you could imagine not sweating, having a fur coat and being obese and trying to go out there and run oh. may not be a good combination. Well, actually, it's very similar to reasons why I don't run, but that's <laughs> an entirely other story. Are there some breeds of dogs that maybe just shouldn't yeah. run? Those smushy face breeds. Yeah. So they're brachiocephalic, but people, I always tell them smushy face. So if they have a smushed in face and they tend to snore, uh -huh. you should not bring them for running. Boxers, okay. bulldogs, things like that. And so. you mentioned like the humidity things like that so is there a certain time of day that's best early early morning mm -hmm. and late night okay so, yes well, those are the best sense. times and then um i mean if somebody does want to adopt this little one again how can they get a hold of you yes just call the clinic at 614-888-4050 <laughs> and ask for rachel she is very sweet awesome well dr eden thank you so much thank for coming you. by some great advice for folks looking to exercise with their pups stay with us we'll be right back